So we are going to be creating some crazy resin pendants in today's video. Let's go. We are back. We're going to have a little play around today. I love having a little play around. You don't have to use these. You can use alcohol inks, but I'm going to be playing with the Armour Art neon colours. Obviously your alcohol inks aren't neon. But if you do it with alcohol inks, when you add your colour, you will need to add a white, um, maybe just a couple of drops, just to make it opaque, so it's not translucent. So, we're going to be using the collaborating for this, and we're going to need to mix that up, and then pour our resin out and let it sit for some time to thicken up. Right, let's get mixing. Okay, so my resin is poured out. And in these small mixing cups, I've just got a small amount of resin in each one. I might have to add some white into mine because I can't remember if these are opaque or not, these pigment pastes. We are going to find out. So you probably remember quite a while ago now, a video I did similar to this based on Artis Enclave who shared some amazing artwork in some of the resin groups on Facebook. So we're gonna do a similar thing to that, but with these neon colors. And I'll pin that video to the end of this one, so you can go and check it out. Again, you could do this with alcohol inks. Yeah, I think I'm gonna to have to add just maybe a drop or two of my white alcohol ink to the pigment base. It doesn't matter that we're mixing the two, Whoops, way too much. I don't want to make it too pastel. Ah, oh, that's fine. That will be okay. So I'm just going to do the same. And just mix that till it's streak free. Do the same for each colour that I've got. And skip the boring part. <laughs> and there we have all five colours mixed up. Not too keen on that green. And we're going to back these afterwards with either a white or a black. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. So now is the waiting game. We just need to wait for the resin to thicken. And I will come back and show you the consistency that we want. Because if we do this now, what's going to happen is that these could sink. Or they could spread. They could do lots of different things. And what we need is defined strands of colour. So we will be back shortly. Okay, it's been about 40 minutes and what I've done is I've put mine into piping bags and I've just taped up the ends Just to make it a bit more controlled. You can just drop them in Artes uses a pin and just dips and lets the resin fall off of his pin I've just I just find this a bit easier to control So you can see up here. I've just done a test drop whoops <laughs> Just to see if it sinks or not. The yellow has kind of blurred out a little bit. But that could be where I didn't put it in straight. But the pink seems to be sitting okay. So what we need to do now is just add our colours. And then let the resin thicken up even more. So normally for the stirring I'd use this. But I've gone with the with the pin that Artis is using in his video as well. Last time I tried this it did go wrong. <laughs> My resin was way too thick. So I'm going to go at it now. As always, massive shout out to my channel members. Thank you very much. I'll be uploading some new macro for you very soon. So I'm just going to be snipping off the ends. Just a small amount. I'm just going to do another tester just in this piece up here. Just to make sure that it's falling Okay, well, I've just made my first drop in this one, so I might as well carry on. So I'm going to go around the outside with just even drops to begin with. This is going to be quite time consuming, but try not to skip the video. <laughs> if, if, it, if, if it is taking too long, go up to the little cog in the top right hand corner and play it in two times speed. It just helps with watch time and those horrible algorithms. 
and then on the inside I'm just going to follow that around to make a smaller circle. I am making this up as I go along. I have watched Arte's video again just to try and get the timings right and some of his creations I really cannot work out how some of them are done. <laughs> they are so good. So what should we go with that? I think we'll go for a bright yellow. My resin is starting to warm up. So just in between those gaps, I need to snip that a little bit wider. Hopefully that's not too wide now. And just in between those gaps. A little bit bigger than the pink blobs. But hopefully these ones will come out okay. I don't want it to take taking too long because my resin is starting to warm up and it will get really thick and more difficult to work with. As mentioned, you can do this with alcohol inks, you can do it with liquid dyes, mica powders. It's just making sure the consistency is okay and that it is opaque. Because if we're adding a colour background, we don't want the colour background to show through the colours, if that makes sense. So yeah, this is probably going to be better to watch in two times. And just come back to the ones that you may want to create, just to see how they're done. And with this one we're going to go in with lines, like I've done in the previous video. I can see a hair. Let's get that out. Don't know how that got in there. No, it's not a hair. I don't know what it was. Almost like an Easter egg. They may not come out brilliant, but I wanted to give it another try with these colours. Let's go have another pink towards the top. Like so. Let's get some blue. Again, I'm going to go on the outside with this one. Whoa. It's drizzling everywhere. Oh well, it's just doing its own thing. So we're going to make a messy one. It's not coming out very controlled. I think what happened is I squeezed my bag too much. So it's a lot of back pressure in that bag. And that's what's happened. Okay, some green. It's a bit more controlled this time. I'm just hoping they don't sink. Go up here. You don't have to be too tidy with this because we are just going to stir things up and make a mess of it anyway. Let's go in with some yellow. And thank you to those who bought a coffee or a super thanks. Really does help. I will be updating that list soon. Uh, can we go with another one there? Yeah, I'll be updating that list soon and pop it on the community tab. Right, I really want to do... I want to create 
something that Artis has done before because it really is a nice effect I just don't know whether I can do it I think that one needs to be a bit bigger Yeah, if you haven't seen any of his pieces, search for him in the Facebook groups. Search his name up. I do believe he's still doing resin. Oh, look, I've gone off. I haven't got a big enough gap between some of the colours. Oh, well. I just keep going. No. <laughs> it was going so well until that blue dropped. Let's go in the center again. What should we go with again in the middle? A yellow. Polka dots. <laughs> that would do. I think what I'll do is I'll just keep dropping. I've got one, two, three, four, five, and I'll just show them afterwards. Oh, there we go. Tried something different there, kind of lattice. I might go in a little bit more in this one. There you go. So now we just have to wait for the resin to thicken up even more. I'll come back and do a tester on it shortly. All right, so it's been about another half an hour. We're gonna do a dip test to see if it's ready. You might be wondering, I've got the heat mat underneath this mould, but it's not actually on. It's just too lazy to move it. <laughs> so we want, when we draw the pin out, we want that kind of dimple. Obviously this is going to depend on where you are, the temperatures, stuff like that. But that is ideally, could go a little bit thicker, I think. I don't know. We can do these ones now. It's not really going to matter with the effect that I want to get in these. So I don't know how I'm going to do these. I think I'm just going to stir. Now, obviously, this is a sharp needle. You don't want to go too far down because you don't want to scratch your mould. And the effect that we want, we only really want to disturb the surface. I'll try and move you so you've got a better angle. The hand's not going to be in the way. We only really want to be moving the surface pigments. Kind of drawing it over the next colour. No, it's a good it's a good consistency. I think we can probably do the others. It's quite thick. I can feel the resistance as I'm stirring. Which is good. Yeah, I think we're good to go with all of them. So we've got quite a nice webby effect going on there. We're going to do the striped ones first. You can see here the orange is kind of spread a little bit. But hopefully that won't show through afterwards. We'll kind of Try and I've gone a bit too deep. <laughs> Try and draw through that. You can see just how nice and thick that resin is. 
then these are definitely going to need a backing colour really to make the colours pop you can see that stringy consistency that's what we want now we've got a little tester piece up here I might as well do something with it I don't know what <laughs> we'll just stir that anyway sorry if my hands are getting in the way sometimes the tester pieces come out better than the, the other ones So, Artez called this in his video he did when we did the collaboration quite some time ago. He referred to this as being the pen technique. So, therefore, I'm going to put it as the title of the video, the pen technique. I don't know whether that's correct or whether it's a transla tran translation issue. <laughs> we don't know. But what he did in the ones that I want to try and recreate is he stirred in the negative space. So he didn't go through these dots. He just went through the negative space quite close to the dots. Again, I'm going to try and move my camera. Lock that focus. And he just kept going round and round and round to get the effect. Again, quite close to the colours and you can see what that's doing. it's drawing them into this really nice effect I've gone too deep <laughs> again so I'm just gonna keep going move a little bit closer to the inner circle I think I've got it guys I think I might have it this time around and then I'm gonna go through that just to finish it off in the center quite tricky when your resin gets this thick but just let it fall off like so and just keep wiping that needle keep wiping it clean now we've got this messy one here kind of went a bit the blue kind of went out a little bit crazy didn't it so with this one we're just going to go in it's tricky because I can't move my camera arm much more. This one we're just going to go with a crazy stir through the colours. Like so. Again, just letting that resin fall off. Your stick. So I have to be careful because I'm kind of my hands going over my other pieces and I don't want to disturb those so again with this one I'm gonna do the same as that that top one we did there's a little bit of something in there I want to fish out I don't know what it is I'm just gonna follow that round quite close to the colours trying to draw my needle up because again I've gone too deep so as you're drawing that negative space it's pulling those colours now instead of going through those ones like I did on the top, what I'm going to do, I don't know if this is going to work now, I'm going to go in the opposite direction. And just keep stirring and that's pulling everything around. And then we can, if we want to, just draw out these colours so they're more of a point got a bit offish up there but I'm going to keep that as it is and we'll move on what shall I do with this one I think I'm going to do a snaky design 
and just weave the colors in and out of each other. It doesn't matter if you pull that resin over the side. And again on the bottom one, just go up and down. And then pull it off. If you're not on my Discord, be sure to jump on in the server. That link is in the box below. Where you can ask questions, post your pictures. Again with this one, I'm just going to go around. Just keep going in that circle motion. And then that little yellow blob at the bottom, we can just pull that through just to a point. Do the same on this one here. Just follow that round. Where am I going? Where am I going? I've gone through that green. I didn't want to go through that green. I don't think it's going to matter. I'll just finish that off with a swirl in the middle. I think I just need to straighten out that blue that's at the top. I don't know whether to back these with black alcohol ink or come back with a black coloured. It's not really straight, but that will do. With a black coloured resin, I'm not sure yet. I think I might just go in with a black alcohol ink. You can just come back with a solid colour if you wanted to. I'm going to come through the middle again. Just like that. Again, just letting that resin fall off. And then with that orange up here, you can just pull that through. Give it a bit of a tail. Like so. Very, very colourful. So there we have them. Yeah, so I've just gonna, I'm just going to top these up with a black alcohol ink now. I did a tester first just to see if it interferes with what we've got. Not that we're really going to see it, but I don't want it to lift the colours. To re-pierce my nib. It shouldn't lift because the pigment should have just sunk beneath the surface. I'll just give that a minute or two just to spread out and see what happens. It's looking promising, so we're just going to go in. I'm going to do them black. I did think about white, but I really want the colours to pop. So what I'm going to do is carry on doing this off camera. And we will see you for the D-mode. Okay, we're all set. You can see I did one in white, just to see what it come out like. I'm going to start with our little tester piece. It's a bit icky because I've had to, it wasn't quite ready and I've made a right mess of it. I tried to top it up with UV resin but it didn't really hold. So I will have to do some work on that afterwards. <laughs> Messy. I just wanted to get the video up tonight. So I've got my studio light on because it is dark. Hopefully you can see these properly. Wow. Move a bit closer to the light. That really is something. Focus. We got it. <laughs> 
Well, that's my favourite piece so far. <laughs> Still a little bit soft, but I can demold this. I can also top them up at a later date. Wow, see what I mean about the black? You know what I'm like? Really has made those colours pop. Really nice 3D effect with the natural dome of the mould. It catches the colours. Really well. As always guys, give the video a thumbs up. Drop me a smiley face in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that button. Still lots of you haven't. That has come out really well. You wouldn't have even known the blue. It's just all over the place, but it works. It really is a stunning piece. I'd wear that. I really would. Let's go with the white one. Yeah, I'm not too keen. See, I used the sinker white. You can see some texture in there. You might like it. I don't know. Let me know. It's different. I just really do think the black does pop the colours a little bit better. Might be different in natural light. You can see some of that texture from the from the sinker white that I used to back that with. Let's go with this one here. Come on! Wow! Almost like an eye in the middle. Should have put a little blob in the centre. Oh, that really is cool. I'm really happy with these. I'm pretty sure in the first video that I did that I'm going to pop over here at the end of the video. I'm pretty sure I used alcohol inks or liquid dyes. It was a long time ago. Many of you have probably seen that video, but if you're new, go and check it out. I've got some different, wow. We've got some really different textures in the other one. Look at that. I really didn't know how that would turn out with the lacing, but the pink's just peeping through those gaps. Again, look at that depth. I might make some more. I'd be interested to see how these would work in coasters. That's insane. Okay, that's probably my new favourite so far. Let's go with the round one. I can't remember the designs that I did on them now. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's as much of a, uh, a demold excitement for me as it is for you. Oh, wow. Some tiny, tiny micro bubbles in there, but you barely notice. Look at that depth. Oh, it's difficult. It's difficult to pick a favourite. Two to go. Wow, <laughs> they're just getting better. Loving the colours of these. Um, there's a discount code as well for the Armour Arts in the description box below. Be sure to use that. And these pigments do go a very long way. I've still got some from when I first began resin um, on a video that I did with Luna Designs. I've still got three quarters of the bottle left on most of the colours that I originally had. So they do go a long way. Last one. Wow. Really popping, aren't they? It's really difficult to pick a favourite, but I'm really happy with all of them, apart from the test piece, obviously. <laughs> Let's take you down for a pan. Let me know in the comments which one is your favourite. I'll pop some images on Facebook anyway to let you know the video's up and I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.